So in the last video of this series, I started out my island where I played Hypixel Skyblock, but it's regular Skyblock and we're not going to the hub at all because that, that's not real Skyblock. We've got our island going, we have our house shaped up, but most importantly, we have resources with a cobble gen and a sapling over there. However, in order to get that cobble gen, I had to buy lava and water from the hub, which a bunch of you guys in the comments, and I mean like literally 80% of the comments section were like, oh, Omicron, you can go down here, there's a chest down here and you can get lava and water. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all so much for enlightening me on this fact. This is what happens when you try to play God. You right, Jerry? Doing okay? For real though, I might take the rest of the resources because it actually might be helpful. I'm gonna be honest, I had no idea this little cave existed. I think I haven't even looted that chest on my main profile. All right, let's just uh, build this over here and we're back, baby. So also in the comments, a bunch of you guys were telling me that the reason I wasn't able to get any mining XP or cobble collection from this uh, cobblestone generator was because I was staying still while mining it and they want to prevent macroing and stuff. But honestly, I'm gonna mine it from this angle. No XP, I'm gonna mine it from this angle, no XP. I'm gonna mine it from this angle, no XP. I'm pretty sure it's a cooldown, guys. So I'm not really sure what I wanna do in this episode. I was considering trying to grind for a talisman in the future, but the problem is that the talismans that I can get with the spawn item resources are extremely expensive. Like for instance, if I wanted to get a wood affinity talisman, it's level eight wood collection, which means I would need to have 10,000 wood, uh, wood blocks from the sapling grow, which seems like hell. I don't know how many trees I'm gonna have to grow, but it seems like a lot. Conveniently though, these are all items that you can get from your spawn island. Now you might be asking yourselves, how do you get oak leaves, Omicron? You're not able to craft shears, there's no iron on your island. But fortunately there is, in fact, a oak leaves trade at Oakwood too, which is very convenient because it only needs a sapling. So this might take possibly 3,000 years of my time in order to get a wood affinity talisman, but you know, that might be, a, might be a goal for like episode 11 or some crap. Oh, also I'm not gonna be able to get any of the effects of the actual talisman because I'm gonna be staying on my spawn island. And also this does require an enchanted oak wood block, which is gonna take a while. All right, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to bone meal this wheat so I can unlock the wheat collection, and then we can see what exactly we've got uh, going on for wheat. Oh, so we could get a farming talisman, actually. That's a lot easier to craft and requires a lot fewer resources because wheat just grows faster than the saplings for some reason. That might be our first talisman to shoot for. And also, you know, we don't even have access to reforges or anything, so literally these talismans do nothing. I think maybe by episode three, I'll expand my palette a little bit and get some minions because, you know, even though that's technically not actual skyblock, it will speed up the process a little bit. And I think a lot of people were uh, more curious to see me try and play Hypixel skyblock, but from my spawn island, Instead of me just playing, you know, regular Skyblock and messing around like a freaking idiot. So you know what? Episode three, we'll get we'll get a cobble minion. We'll see how far we can upgrade that. Right now, though, I'm not sure what I want to do with this bone meal because I only get three of them, and it's not like skeletons are spawning on my island every day. So I have to use these somewhat, you know, safely. I think I'll just try and use them on the sapling. Honestly, this sapling hasn't grown for ages, so. Well, that was that was well spent. I just I just really desperately need wood because that's the one resource I don't have a lot of. I have a lot of dirt and I have a lot of cobblestone here, but I don't have my tree growing, which is unfortunate. I think another thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make two cobble generators just so this is a little faster so we can just um, put this here. And so if I place this water here, I have an infinite water source under the island, fortunately. I think it's like right, yeah, right here. So I can just at any time get some water if I need it. If we're lucky and a spider ever spawns near our island, then I might actually be able to get a fishing rod and we could actually get fishing collection, which would be really awesome. I think we have to expand our island a little bit though, which is what I think I'm going to do. So I'm just going to build out a long ways out here and then make a few platforms so that we have a bunch of places for mobs to spawn. It'll be like a little sky garden. It'll be amazing. I'll plant some crops around it. This is gonna be great. One of the things that does really suck though is that we're not able to get like any enchants or a better pickaxe. We're gonna have to literally stay with a stone pickaxe just solely on the fact that we can't get iron from our spawn island and definitely no efficiency either because we'd need diamonds for an enchant table. Guys, I don't think our sapling's ever gonna grow. I'm gonna be honest. It it just, it doesn't, it doesn't wanna grow. That's sort of the scary thing I realized about having uh, that wood affinity talisman goal is that if I can't even get one tree to grow, we're gonna have a problem growing. Uh, several thousand. I think another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this lava bucket someplace because it just it keeps burning up the cobble that I mine. So I think this should just be fine. Yeah, see that's already a lot better. It's not as big of a hitbox, so we can move that back however much I want. All right, let's try like right here. Oh, whoops, never mind. That that, that didn't work. Oh no 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 no! 
Good job, Omicron. A bunch of you guys are telling me that when I die, I should have to drop all my items because that's like regular Skyblock, but honestly, you guys are, you guys are monsters. I'm not gonna do that. You have any idea how hard it is to progress already? All right, so we're coming up on another night. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a decently sized platform out here that will hopefully um, spawn some mobs when the night comes. Honestly, I do like the looks of it. I'm not like a huge builder person, but it does have that sort of homey feel to it. With the few sticks that I have, let's make a stone sword. Yes. 25 damage, better than any aspect of the dragon. All right, oh, our tree grew, let's go. Oh my God, finally. All right, so I think we're just gonna, oh yes, one sapling immediately, let's go, dude. Only took about, what, three skyblock days to grow this tree? We just got another sapling, let's go. Please, please, no, okay. Well, at least we have more wood. Okay, we got two trees going now. Let's just wait another five billion years for those to grow. And are there any mobs anywhere? There's no mobs. There's a mob over there, a skeleton over there, but uh, nothing really out here. I don't remember how spawning mobs in Skyblock works. I'm not sure if it's like it has to be a preset island or if they just spawn randomly. I hope they just spawn randomly because that'd be great. That cobblestone minion's having an internal crisis right now. He's got no one to collect his resources. And this stone platform should be complete. Now, I'm not sure, again, how mob spawns work on Hypixel Skyblock on your spawn island, but... Okay, if we get wheat six, which is 2,500 wheat, we can get... Um, a farming island, which will give us uh, a lot more crops, certainly, and uh, it's pretty cheap as well. That That is well into the future, though. I don't think our, our current crop production is not gonna meet those standards just yet. All right, judging by how the sun is coming up and there is a huge lack of mobs on my stone platforms, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that uh, mob spawning is not based off of that. It's actually probably just based on having preset islands, so that's gonna be a problem. I will continue making more, though. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but who knows. I think I've sat like a total of 25 minutes on this cobblestone generator, honestly. Like, it, it has been a wild ride. All right, getting that cobblestone. Let's see how much our collection is, because I'm pretty sure it's not collecting all of the blocks. 448, is that accurate? I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that the total amount of cobblestone that I've used is more than 448, but uh, I don't know. Let's see, so if I mine some of these, it's probably not going to update. Yeah, it doesn't update, so a little stuck there. I mean, I've been moving around and stuff. I honestly think it's a cooldown, although I'm not entirely sure, because, you know, when I move around and stuff, and then I come back to the cobble generator, it's like, it doesn't give me it. It's so sad, we can't even get pets, because in order to get a pet, you need to have an enchanted egg, and we need eggs for that, which we can't get. Like, we can't craft this, we can't craft this, we we can craft that, but it's pretty useless. We, we can't craft the compactor, because we don't have redstone. We can't craft the pet. We could craft Miner's Outfit, potentially. In fact, um, I'm not sure. That, that's very doable, actually. The problem is gonna be getting that to the collection because this just never wants to update for me, so we would need 10,000 cobblestone collection for that, which seems a little excessive. We could craft a haste ring, which would be, which would be useful. And we can't craft a super compactor because, yeah. Oh, we've got another wheat, let's go. Mine that, and we got more seeds, let's go. Step by step, dude, you know, just going step by step. In the meantime, let's add some more cobblestone walls so we can get a little pathway going on out here. You know, honestly, not the worst thing in the world. It could be, it could be a lot worse. All right, we got another wheat, let's go. And more seeds, let's go. I swear, dude, every single time like a crop or a tree grows, it's the most amazing feeling in the world. And you know, when you have your wheat minion make a new batch of wheat, it's like not impressive at all, but this is so much more rewarding. <gasps> Our tree grew, oh, let's go, oh my God. Yes, we're making progress on wood. Three saplings, let's go! <laughs> How to steamroll in Skyblock. On the resource side of things, we're actually not doing too bad, which is really cool. We'll have a bunch of wood coming in, because now we got four saplings. We've quadrupled the number of possible trees that we have, which is great, and we'll have more on the way. Uh, we're getting our crops developing, and we've got a bunch of platforms that I'm not really sure what I want to do with, but you know. As far as progress for this episode, not completely garbage. I might probably grind some more uh, wheat and wood off camera, which will be nice, but we'll We'll see where we can get in the next episode and I'll also probably get a cobble minion which would be pretty cool. For now, this is the island though and it is it has changed a lot actually. We've we've done a pretty good amount of progress and now we have some goals in mind as well. So the rules have changed slightly but you know what that's okay. We're developing this little challenge as it goes. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Like and subscribe. I'm lonely. Goodbye. <laughs>